So what we've produced now is quite a good range of wedges. Nice shape, nice size, taper, etc. The general rule of thumb is a ratio of 1 to 10. So one unit up, 10 units out. That is the ideal shape for a wedge. Now, when people are fresh to this, they're so focused on cutting the wedges, they make some fundamental mistakes. So what I'm going to do now on purpose is the fundamental mistake. You need to understand the reasoning behind this. So I'll do some cuts, then I'll show you why. Right, what I've done there is I've done two examples of bad practice so that you can see and understand the difference. If I take a handful of the wedges that we could first, and we put those there, then a handful of wedges that we cut second, we put there, and then the ones that we cut third, we'll put there. The first one's ideal. Nice, long, tapered wedges. The second one, well, OK, they look long, they look tapered. But structurally, hmm, that's no good. And these aren't very good at all. Oh. Whereas before, <coughs> we can't break them. The reason being is the grain structure. The first ones we did are correct. You'll notice that the grain is running lengthwise. The second ones that we created, if you look at that very carefully, the grain structure is going vertically. So instead of cutting with the grain, we've now cut across the grain. Structurally, there's no integrity. They're very, very weak. So they're no good. So if you were to cut those in a bit of a rush and use them, whatever you're making is no good. If we have a look at wedges number three, well, they kind of started off OK, but the more we did, we went from the grain running along the length of the grain to the grain running across the grain again. So they started off OK, but then they failed. So from that perspective, if we look at how we cut things, why we cut things, it is important that you stay focused. So there's lots of things you need to think about. You need to think about your guarding. You need to think about how you make it safe and what you're actually producing at the end of the day.